All right, so what don't- kind of crush hey. are you doing? Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? I don't know what I usually do, just sitting around bricked up with yeah. my pepper. Yeah, you talking right. about Darkland? I'm doing that right now, chill. Oh, yeah, hey. you're talking about the things Go over there. that crazy girl. Go over there right now. I'm in the really, I don't want to. I'm in the corner. I'm pulling out my Sit pepper. Down. I'm in the corner. Cop a squat there, Bucko. You got me bricked up. Big you just relax for me, okay? I love you. I love you too. Kiss, kiss. Okay, yeah, make sure you shut the door. At least you shut it. So we're talking about Dark Link today. Who's Dark Link, you might ask? Well, he's 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 Link, but he's dark. Does that make sense? All right, have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! So we all know I can't do something like that. YouTube would absolutely murder me in the algorithm for a 30 second, well, with the skit, about a minute. But I've had the thoughts. Who is Dark Link? Is he... Is he just like a manifestation of Ganondorf's evil taking on the form of Link, his arch nemesis? Or is he something a little deeper than that? Something maybe the gods decided to throw at Link. If we look at the instances of Dark Link that we have, we have uh, Dark Link in The Adventures of Link, Legend of Zelda 2. We have Dark Link in A Link to the Past, I believe. Double check me on that. Check, check. Freeze frame, call me a dipshit if I got that wrong. And then the one I think we're all familiar with is going to be the Dark Link in the Water Temple in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, in Adventures of Link, Dark Link is put in, I believe it was the King of Hyrule that was like, hey, uh, we need to test to make sure the bro that's coming out here to save my sis, my fam, is up to snuff and he knows what he's doing. If not, let his, let this little dark, dark piece of shit, let him just kill him. Let him take him out. He ain't worth our time. Whatever. And in Ocarina of Time, it says that you must, uh, what is it? You must defeat yourself. You must best oneself, something along those lines. But each instance of Dark Link has been basically a, a, a an exact reflection of Link. Um, you know, in Ocarina of Time, he mirrors your movements almost to a T, unless you have the Megaton Hammer or you cheese it with a bigger on sword. That's, you know, <laughs> Ocarina of Time veteran right here. I don't know about you, but I'm a bit of a pro. But in Adventures of Link, it's it's more directly linked to the story. Link's uh, adventure in that game is to specifically go and collect the pieces of the Triforce to try and wake up Zelda. She's been cast into a deep sleep. I believe it was an evil wizard that put her into deep sleep. Uh, I'm not 100% on that. Again, I'll have little little notes here and there for you to, to look at, you know? But basically, I want to put it my own little theory on it is that Dark Link is an exact trial from the gods to test Link up until that point. In Ocarina of Time, it says the Water Temple, which is on your adult uh, playthrough. It's about halfway through, at least the adult portion after that, including the Young Link portion. It's about two thirds of the game. You're you're at the Water Temple facing Dark Link and Adventures of Link. He's around the final boss, if not the final boss. I, I haven't played it in a long time. So each instance of Dark Link is a direct trial that is set before Link to essentially test his combat prowess and, and see if he's up to snuff, up to what the, uh, the chosen hero is supposed to be. So with that, I don't think Dark Link is this evil bad guy, even though it's a cool narrative to spin. It's cool to sit there and go, oh, Ganondorf went, hey, bitch, <laughs> that's Dark Link. Kill that bitch. Quick addendum to A Link to the Past. He's just like a bonus after you beat the game in the multiplayer with uh, Four Swords Adventures. He's, he's just, you know, you get to fight four Dark Links. It's kind of cool, kind of kooky. Um, but in Twilight Princess, we have an instance of the, the shadow people uh, I can't, god damn it, I can't remember what they call them, but basically they, they're all Dark Link. They look identical to Dark Link, and while that is something where you could look at and go, ooh, ooh, is this a little Easter egg? Is this a little little nugget of delicious Zelda goodness? It's, it's nothing more than an Easter egg. It's just essentially supposed to give us a representation of who these people were and what they, what they kind of embodied, which was darkness. They're, they're, 
they were just the bad bad guys. Um, and then you have, you know, like in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, Dark Link isn't in it, but you can get the dark sets of armor that, while they look cool, they have nothing to do with the game themselves. So I want to take this into a grand theory. What if Dark Link initially was set up to just be a bad guy? But as Link grew in strength and mind and courage and spirit, it manifested this regular old doppelganger into something much more symbolic of Link's journey to save the princess. Specifically, in Adventures of Link, Dark Link knows every move you know. In Ocarina of Time. <coughs> in Ocarina of Time, Dark Link does every move you do outside of, you know, using items. But as far as swordsmanship, He's one to one. And if you wait with Dark Link in Ocarina of Time specifically, he starts out really translucent, almost really transparent. And he directly will copy your movements. But as time goes on and the battle continues, he begins to manifest, become more corporeal. And you know that Dark Link is there and ready to fight. Because his eyes, instead of being that grayed over look, turn a bright red. And he's fully corporeal. And he all out fights you hardcore, wants to kill you. So what if Dark Link, while being essentially an idea set forth by the gods, and the, or I should say the goddesses, to test Link, takes on a form of his own directly because of Link's courage and spirit being so strong that even the doppelganger takes on attributes of our hero. Little cool, little, little kind of quirky thing. Maybe somebody else has that same theory. Maybe I am late to the game, but I don't care. Dark Link's cool. Nobody can tell me different. Have an awesome day. Bye. But if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, drop a comment, let me know if you want me to do more deep divey, not really deep divey, you want me to do more like quick little, little Easter egg theorizing on characters in video games. I like this. I like The Legend of Zelda. Obviously, I've got, you know, I got that. I got that. I'm a little bit obsessed, one might say. I love Zelda. It's a great series. Link is a beast. Link is a badass, and Dark Link is just the dark side of Link. All of the dark manifestations of his, his desires and wants manifest into a dark evil clone that wants to do nothing but destroy his light side doppelganger. But yeah, please leave me a comment. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Join, join me. I don't have any name for the subscribers. Just join up, be a boss, be a cool guy, be with me. I make shorts, I make a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm really testing animation right now. I'm just screwing around. This has been my second take at actually doing YouTube. I think it's been going pretty well. What do you think? Anyways, this has been another video. Have an awesome day, guys. And bye-bye.